Hi everyone and welcome back to our cart series. In this episode we're going to take a look at our physics and see what we can do to improve them as we go into making the weapons in the next few videos. So let's take a look at what we can do to improve our physics of our carts. But first things first, let's play the game and see where we need the game. At the moment, first thing we'll do is fix that camera issue, which is an easy fix. So we're going to go into the cart and go on the spring arm for the camera. I'm going to tell it not to do a collision test. Or, uh, well, actually might be better because we still want to do it for walls, but we want to ignore the carts. And that's because it's using a probe channel camera. So if I were to say take the cubes and all the other meshes for the cart, like that, that. That. and then go down to the collision settings on camera here i'm going to tell it to overlap the camera or ignore it could be there really now it won't block the camera now we're still getting this unpushed there so i'm guessing that's something else going on in that and i imagine it's the box collision so let's go to the box collision yep yeah. and change the camera to overlap there now it shouldn't do it there we go Okay, so let's fix the physics of that. I'm just going to move this orange one out of the way so we don't get pushed around too much. Okay, so we've got acceleration. We're happy with that. But the main thing is when we fly off like that. So let's go around again and see if we can just tweak the gravity that's on our cart as we go up in the air. So we're going to go like that. And there we go. Okay, it's going way off. I think there's actually a cart stuck in the air somewhere. Uh, let me go there. Oh, I saw her. Yeah, there you go. Up there. So we obviously don't want them to go up too high. We want to keep them on the ground somewhat. So let's increase the, uh, the gravity that's on the cart when it's in the air. So let's go to the event graph and look at the tick event. Okay, the tick event, we are doing the, actually get rid of the print string now. So we're going to find that in our accelerate cart right, um, function. Go to accelerate cart, there we go. And in the function here, we've got this add force at location. And we're doing a thing here where we're saying add on a z vector if we're not on the ground okay so b means we're not at that moment we're adding thirty thousand to the gravity of us pushing down there this is a down force pattern. and if we want to increase that we can do we're just going to increase the number let's change that to from a three let's change it to a nine so it's three times much down force when we're in the air let's see how that behaves a lot of this is just tweaking those sort of numbers Around. a bit too much downforce i think and i think the center of gravity for the vehicle as well is a bit off because notice how it nose dived a bit so i think i might change the center of gravity maybe Go around again and try that jump one more time i think it's too much that's how it just goes into a nose dive yeah so let's give it a bit more air time so one thing that's worth doing is on values like this that are tweakable and changeable per cart or per game is if we were to split this is promote this one to a value variable and we'll call this one downforce and over here it will be set to whatever we had it set to so i'm going to change that from nine let's change that to uh six so double what it originally started off as, but still not as much as it just was. That seemed a bit better. Said so I might change the center of gravity somewhat. So let's have a look at that in a second. Let's just do another jump. Actually, that's yeah, not too bad. I'm not quite happy with that. Okay, so other things we want to do is I'm going to do check for when I'm not accelerating for, but still hitting the ramp. 
So I'm gonna let go accelerate. And there we go. <clears throat> okay. Next up is steering. So at the moment, steering is uh, handled by the mouse movement. And basically, the way that's happening is if I go to here and steer, there you go. We're multiplying the torque here by the acceleration input and the action value that's coming through here. And at the moment, we've got quite a large torque value for this. So what I'm going to do, again, is promote that out and do steering torque. And hit compile. And there it is. And let's just increase that. I'm going to double it to 200,000, 2 million, whatever it is. I'm still having to move the mouse quite a bit to, to handle the steering. Um, so what I'm thinking we need to do is change its, uh, the multiplier from the acceleration input rather than just the torque. Well, that's just me moving the mouse casually left and right. Obviously, you have a sensitivity setting in your options at some point, but... We're also looking at the AI cars and seeing what they're doing. Um, I want to make sure that they're doing everything okay. Which is going to be important if we go to AI steer cart and we're putting that steering torque there too. Um, so acceleration input, we want to multiply that. Let's try multiplying that. So, oh, that one. let's multiply acceleration input here. And let's Try double. I'm just going to put that in the other one as well. Okay. All right, let's see how that handles that. That's feeling a lot tighter. Like we can do a lot more tighter turns now. Good. Okay, cool. Let's just try the jump. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a lot more tighter turns now. I'm feeling a lot happier with that setup we have there. Basically, anything that we are changing the value of, we want to make a variable so we can tweak it a lot easier. And if you have multiple carts in your game that player can choose from, these will be very useful to have too. So this multiplier we just put into acceleration input, write that to a variable, call it steering uh, multiplier. And I'm going to put that in the AI one as well. Yep. And to go to the uh, not that one acceleration, we've got this lerp that's going between zero and fifteen thousand. So this would be out like how fast you want it to go, the acceleration of it. So here do verbal do max acceleration. The last thing I mentioned was changing the center of gravity. Um, and it's totally up to you and how you want it to feel. But if, to show you how you do that, just go to your box uh, component and go to the right-hand side until you find a physics section. And in here, you'll find the center of mass offset. So at the moment, it's zero, zero, zero. So if you want it to be more nose-heavy, you can just move it forwards in the x-axis. Okay, And it, literally all you do. So we will put in there... Like 20, for example. Because you think about it, like the engine might be in the front, therefore it'd be more nose heavy. Yeah. 
Um, or you can put in the back and put into say negative 30, whatever. And it'll just treat that as like the top of the car. You can see it's lifting up a little bit at the front there. Oh, you got pushed off the side there. So it depends on what kind of feel you want for your carts. Things like that to tweak. I hit that jump. I'm going to get knocked off. Oh. Oh, damn. There you go. There are lots of little things you can tweak and adjust with your physics of your cart. You can even do things such as checking the suspension and recalculating how much pressure or how much uh, torque the steering has based upon the suspension that's going on. There's loads of things you can do. And by all means, experiment, see what you can work with, make it work for your carts. Now, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and create the reset position. So if the car gets toppled over or it starts tired, it will reset its position back onto the track so it can continue racing. So you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You'll find all my videos early before everyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.